Q data structure. Q is a linear data structure which follows first in first out principle to process the data. So, here in Q data structure the data which is inserted first will be accessed first. Unlike a stack data structure, Q data structure has two ends one is a rear end and another one is front end. Here rear end is always used to insert the data that is NQ operation and the front end is always used to delete the data, remove the data which is DQ operation. So, here insertion operation is called NQ and the deletion operation is called DQ and here there are two ends rear end and front end. Always at the rear end we are supposed to perform insertion and at the front end we are supposed to perform the deletion operation. When it comes to the stack data structure, both the insertion and deletion would be performed through only one end which is called the top end. But here in Q data structure, we have two ends, one is for deletion that is rear end and another one is for deletion that is the uh, that is the front end. So, there are two different ends here and this is the representation of Q. This is how the Q representation would look like. If you check here in this diagram, there are two different ends, front end and rear end. You just imagine an actual Q, like where we used to uh, stand to collect the uh, ticket, uh, any ticket counter you can imagine, any normal Q is the example here. So, if you, the person who enters first, the person who enters first in the queue would leave the queue first, the person who come last would leave the queue last. The same structure only we, I, I have. Uh, demonstrated here there are two different ends front end and rear end the person who visits the queue newly those who want to join can join only through the rear end and the person who wants to leave can leave only through the front end so here through the front end deletion can be performed and through the rear end insertion can be performed and this is the visual representation of q and next is key characteristics the very first one is first in first out principle. The element that is added first to the queue is the first one to be removed and when it comes to operations as usual there are three basic operations. One is NQ operation, NQ is nothing but the insertion adding a new element to the back of the queue at the rear end and the next operation is DQ which means a deletion removing the element from the front of the queue and the next operation is peak operation or top operation which means displaying the element or viewing the element at the front without removing it. When it comes to DQ, we will remove it, but here the speak is to only display the element which is there at the front end without removing it. And these are the three basic operations of Q data structure and the third characteristics is implementation. When it comes to implementation, queues can be implemented using arrays as well as linked list. Arrays are straightforward, but it may require resizing but if the queue grows beyond its initial capacity. Linked lists are dynamic and it can grow efficiently and this queue data structure can be implemented using either arrays or linked list. If you want a dynamic structure, you can prefer the linked list to implement the queue. Otherwise, if the resizing is not required, you can go with arrays. When it comes to time complexity, uh, NQ, DQ, peak operations are going to take only the time complexity of big O of 1. Why? Because at the very first iteration itself, we will be able to perform insertion or deletion or uh, uh, the peak operations. Why? Because when you want to perform insertion only at the um, rear end, we are performing the insertion, right? So, directly we can go to the rear end and perform the insertion. When it comes to deletion, always we will delete the element which is at the front end. So, it, it, it is going to take only one iteration to perform insertion as well as deletion and also to display the element also. We are displaying only the element which is there at the front end only. That is also can be done with a big O of one time complexity only. And next is some real world analogies. Uh, real world analogies are imagine a queue at a ticket counter, people who arrive and join the queue, people always uh, who are who the people who wants to join the queue, they always come and join at the end only and the person at the front of the queue gets the ticket first and he would leave and newcomer, all the newcomers can continue to join at the back of the queue. And other analogy is uh, print, printer queue, the documents are printed one by one in the order they were sent to the printer and other examples are. Uh, people moving on an escalator, the people who got on the escalator first will be the first one to step out of it and people waiting for a bus, the first person standing in the line will be the first one to get into the bus. There are many multiple analogies are there and these are the few and common use cases are this can be used for uh, 
breadth first search it can be used in graph traversal algorithms where nodes are visited layer by layer and the next is job scheduling task or processes are managed in the order they were received with the help of the queue data structure and the third one is bounded buffers in concurrent programming queues uh, queue data structure is used to manage the data between the producer and consumer threads and fourth one is as usual the printer queue here the documents are printed in the order they are submitted suppose if you are submitting multiple documents to get it printed it would get printed in the order they are submitted so in con in summary queues are versatile and it is widely used in programming due to its simplicity and also efficiency in managing the data where order matters so whether like this uh, queue data structure is crucial for to design efficient and logical system whether in algorithms or uh, operating systems or any other uh, uh, simulations the understanding this queue data structure is very important to design an efficient system or efficient algorithm thank you